All right, this is the review and how to for the Renis 128 GB um, SSD hard drive from asiatechtrade.com. So to begin, you just basically there's going to be a couple of tabs. There's uh, one, two, three, four tabs on the side here. So you just kind of wedge something sharp in there. I just used a just a simple knife just to get it started and then I inserted a, a small screwdriver and kind of wedged it you know just like twisted it to the side to get it popped open and started and I put the knife away because I don't want to cut anything up and I'm just going to continue so you can see here you can see the little tabs there's a couple here, here here and then here so there's four on this side so I'm just going to continue popping them all out now the trick is you want to kind of have it at an angle so that when you twist it pops up and inwards towards the center um, because the nature of the way the the tabs work it's kind of like hooked in like this so you want to you want to force it in and up so that it pops out so that when it flexes back out it rests along the top edge here like this so they don't pop back down and lock itself back in place I don't know if you can see those but you can see a couple of tabs there's one here there's another one there so I'm just going to continue along all the way around the perimeter of this device. I'm going to be careful not to snap these tabs off. Just very gently. Try and get this last edge off. There we go. Okay. Now we've got the inside exposed. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to lay it over like that. And this is where the hard drive is located. So I'm going to peel this edge back and flip it back over to expose it. Now this appears to be copper foil, so I wouldn't recommend cutting it because it may be some kind of conductor for grounding or something. I'm not sure exactly what this does. There we go. Now we got that exposed. I'm going to go grab my small Phillips screwdriver. See if I can zoom in here. There we go. Okay. 
that's been removed. Put this, this is the old hard drive. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. There we go, that's probably pretty good. All right, now that's been removed. And here's the new device with installation instructions. I won't be using those. comes with uh, new screws. I'm going to be using the original ones. So I'll just install this. Place this back over. Then re adhere this copper foil. I'm using my fingernail to mash this on, making sure we have plenty of contact here because, again, I have no idea what this oil does. I'm assuming it's some kind of ground or maybe a heat transfer device. Anyway, so that's it for the hardware portion and I will create another video for the software part.